Hello everyone. Today we will be going to discuss block 17 that is frictional force and lesson 1 is friction at rest and in motion. So our aim is to describe the effects of frictional force. The resources we need are book tied with a string or a rubber band in the middle, wooden block with a hook, spring balance and content book. The keyword used are first is friction. Friction is the force that opposes the motion in objects. Interlocking. Interlocking means two or more things having parts that fit into each other. Third is motion. Motion means state of movement. So uh, the action that is to be proceed, step one. Look at how the spring balance is attached to the string on a book. Observe book is pulled using the hook of the spring balance attached to it. First a small pulling force is applied then gradually force is increased. Note the reading of the spring balance. This gives the measure of frictional force acting on a book. The next step is Now observe the wooden block that is pulled using the hook of the spring balance attached to it. Again note the reading. This is the frictional force acting on a block. Now discuss with your partner why do the book and the block not continue their movement when pulling it stopped. Let's discuss the activity that we have discussed above. The question is what was holding the book and the block from sliding initially? Why can't they continue sliding after we stop using the force? Uh, and the answer is when the book and the block were resting on a table, the frictional force acting between the contact surfaces held them at their places. This is called the frictional force at rest that helps to bind the object with its surface. When the pulling force was sufficient to overcome the frictional force, they started moving. The frictional force acting on them were different. So, we apply different forces on them. Although they started moving to continue their movement, they needed a constant push. Otherwise, frictional force opposed their motion and tried to stop them from moving. This is called frictional friction due to motion. Now generalize our discussion. How does the frictional force affect the object at rest or in motion? When object are at rest, the frictional force hold the object tightly. For example, a bottle capped on a table will remain on its place due to friction at rest. Anything that is lying on the table or lying on their places that is due to friction and friction that is in rest. Frictional force opposes the motion of object when they move and try to stop them. For example, moving ball stops after some time because of frictional force. How this frictional force arises? This frictional force arises due to interlocking between the irregularities of two surfaces that are in contact.
we cannot see it <coughs> with our eyes due to interlocking of surface object do not slip over one another and that is why the motion is registered <coughs> effects of frictional force on object at rest and object in motion at rest it holds the object on its place for example bot bottle rest on a table and in motion it opposes the motion of an object for example moving ball stop after some time now the higher order thinking question is in which case will the frictional force be more when we have to push an object harder or move it in a easy way the answer is if an object is harder to move it means that fric frictional force on it is more and we are not able to move it properly and if the object slides we can say that frictional force is less means it is allowing it to move so that's all about this chapter let's discuss about the practice questions question number 1 tick the cases when friction doesn't act a a kite flies b a car runs a bowl sits on a table a ladder rests on a wall in all the cases friction is applied so no option will be tick out second frictional force act on a glass of water resting on a table explain how friction help in the keeping the glass in one place as i already told you that frictional force comes when two objects are in contact with each other and due to interlocking between their surfaces and due to that interlocking that uh, uh, interlocking between the glass surface and the table this interlocking help to stay the glass in the upward direction third rina is sitting on a chair and mona is riding on a bicycle how is frictional force helping or not helping them so the answer is frictional force prevents sliding so it helps rina to sit tight and also prevent mona bicycle from skidding thank you